Hi, it's August 2nd. We're here on the Capital Markets Desk at BAM's New York headquarters. I'm Mike Stanton, and this is Grant Dewey, Head of Municipal Capital Markets for BAM. We're here with our weekly update. Last week, we said that all eyes would be on the Fed this week. We were half right. All eyes, half the eyes were on the Fed, half of it were on tweets from the President. What happened in the interest rate markets? So we had, uh, you know, Treasuries uh, rallied 20 basis points this week. It was, you know, obviously the 25 basis point uh, cut by the Fed on Wednesday, which I think was widely expected. And what wasn't expected was the was uh, yesterday afternoon uh, the comments kind of escalating the trade war. So uh, rates rallied pretty dramatically, and and not surprisingly, Muni's you know finished the week up six basis points. So. Um, you know, so we had a cheapening in muni ratios from 74% to 78%. So uh, the, the market rates were much stronger, muni's underperformed, and that's the story there. So in the primary market last week, we talked about a bunch of issuers kind of sitting out, waiting to see what played out with the Fed. Looks like that may have paid off for them with lower rates going into next week. Uh, let's just take a quick look back at this week. It was about $5 billion in new issue pricing. Yeah, How to bam? Uh, so it was a pretty quiet week, about, uh, I think, $5.5 billion in primary. <clears throat> Excuse me. The um, we did uh, we were on a Hempstead uh, New York deal, which was uh, which was a good deal for us. Also San Lorenzo, we did about 141 million uh, for the week in the primary. So so kept us busy um, as you. I just want to jump in there for a second. Yeah. The San Lorenzo uh, Water District transaction. It's uh, from uh, a community between San Jose and Santa Cruz, California. Yeah. It's a BAM Green Star transaction because they're green bonds to finance improvements that will help the uh, sustainability of the water system in that area. Um, one thing that was interesting there, and there's a BAM Credit Insights video by Shelby Schwabauer from our uh, Santa Monica office, specifically on that transaction. One thing that's interesting from the credit side there is they started taking some steps to prepare for future droughts, which is something that a lot of credit analysts are watching. Uh, there's an automatic surcharge that imposes uh, on customers if water consumption falls because of drought conditions limiting consumption. So that was a, uh, an interesting development in the credit markets there. So looking ahead to this coming week, uh, we're back to a fairly full calendar. What's it looking like? Yeah, we've got uh, $13 billion scheduled for next week, so obviously a very heavy calendar. We've got a few kind of big mega deals, Port Authority, uh, and there's a $6 billion health care deal uh, that City's running. And, and so you know, that's half the calendar there in, in one transaction. So it's also quite a bit of taxable uh, coming next week, DFW, Port Authority, and the Common Spirit. Uh, away from that, we have a very busy week. Uh, we're expecting about $400 million in, in uh, BAM insured transactions, uh, headlined by a $215 million Compton a USD deal that RBC is running. So looking forward to that one, and, uh, and we have a few others where we're expecting to be used. Very good. Thanks for your time, Grant, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.